Let's talk about scenarios. Scenarios can be defined as outlining specific areas of functionality. You can define what does the system need from users for that particular scenario, and also what do users need from the system for that particular scenario. Let me show you some examples. Here's a handy template that you can use during the lab portion of this course, and you can fill it in for your particular app. Let me show you an example of this filled in. For the example of the dictionary app used in the last example, so if you think about a user journey sort of encapsulating the entire story start to finish, you could think of scenarios as individual chapters from that. And so for that dictionary app, you can see that the scenario has pulled out using the reverse dictionary feature and what the problem and desired result are. You can sketch in how the user would use this particular feature and how they may feel. If you think of a user journey as, say, the book, from start to finish, scenarios could be individual chapters. Storyboards. Illustrating something in comic book format. They clearly show the context and the user is the star of the storyboard as opposed to the interface. Here's some examples. In this example, you can see the context of a app that helps people. The user has a trigger and a need for the app and there's a problem and a resolution. Communicating in this format is very effective because it's very accessible and everybody can immediately understand what it is you're trying to communicate. Here's another example, this time for an app that helps people during earthquakes. As you can see, the user is the star of this scenario expressed in storyboard format as opposed to the interface. There's nothing wrong with showing a bit of the interface, but as you can see, it clearly shows the user in their context and the problem that they're experiencing and how the app may help them as opposed to focusing on just drawing the interface. Again, here's another example, how you can see how this app clearly solves a problem. Now you need not necessarily have to have skilled drawing experience in order to be effective at drawing storyboards. In this example, the user is represented by what's called a star person. Draw a simple star with a circle on top and that could represent your user. Very easy to draw. Flows. Flows can be defined as a way to show how users move through the system, show the ideal path through the system. You can even outline edge cases. Flows can be high level or granular. And let me show you what I mean. So for example, in the dictionary app that we've been using as an example, this is a basic flow, a basic flow of how you would go to the first screen and see the splash screen and then you could either look up a word or go to the reverse dictionary and then see usage examples. Very high level. This is a flow of a login. In order to go to the home page, you must log in successfully and this is how you would draw the flow that represents that. Here's a flow for a checkout process say for an e-commerce site. This example shows what happens if perhaps there's a login failure. Here's some basic flows that show what happens when you need to display errors on various interfaces or notifications. As you can see, there are very many ways of representing flows and storyboards and scenarios. Use your imagination. There's no right way to do it.